Hi, it's Sandra from asexualized.com in association with World of Quirky and Quirky Academy. Asexualized.com is a new website coming soon with products and resources for asexuals. So it's Valentine's Day coming up, which is otherwise known as International Celebrate Being Single Day. I'm feeling all loved up as usual, being a hyper-romantic. If you didn't see my last video about being a hyper-romantic and the difficulties I do face with it, please do check that video out and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you never miss an episode. So today I want to talk to you about asexual dating. So there are a couple of asexual dating sites that I am on. And I'm on asexualitic.com and ace-book.net. So if you are not on either of those and you do want to date other asexuals, I suggest you join them and find out what's going on. Having said that, asexualitic.com, I believe, is now $15 a year. When I joined, uh, which was when it very, you know, it's in the early stages, I didn't pay for it. I still don't have to because I got silver membership and I've been there long time. So I joined, I believe, around June 2014 and there was under 5,000 people on there. And now there's over 15,000 people on there. So you can tell that asexuality is definitely not something that's in the imagination and doesn't exist. We truly do exist. We are here and um, yeah, we do sometimes want romantic relationships. And um, those, of who are, those of us who love romance often want to have a romantic relationship. So we will seek this out with another romantic asexual. Sometimes it might mean you want to be with a sexual. But this I, time I'm just talking about dating other asexuals. So on these um, dating sites, asexualitic.com and acebook.net, um, one of the hardest things I've found, especially with asexualitic.com, I really love the site, but what's so tough is a lot of people won't speak there. Uh, it seems the majority of asexuals are introverted, in my experience, of um, coming into contact with asexuals, especially on dating sites. And a lot of them just don't talk. And if they do talk to you and message you, the messages are usually few and far between or they'll be started and they'll stop again. So it can be really difficult. It's a really long slog and you have to be in it for the long haul. If you are going to do asexual dating, you've just got to believe someone's out there for you and to never give up because it isn't easy. And you have to do loads of approaching. You have to be proactive not reactive. So my top tips for asexual dating is be proactive, not reactive. This means you need to be approaching people. You need to be private messaging people, friending people and actually talking to them for a long period of time. You need to get to know them. If they're not suitable for you and you don't want to keep them as a friend, just simply say you're not what I'm looking for. So first, it is to be proactive, not reactive. Second, is to be absolutely honest with them. Yes, I mean absolutely honest. If what they are offering you in terms of relationship or friendship does not suit, tell that person. Third thing, if you're going to meet up with anyone from an asexual dating site or any dating site, you should always Skype them first. Do not meet them in person without having spoke to them on the phone or Skype them. I would always recommend Skype because it gives things away. Their body language, the way they look, when well, you can't see that over a telephone. Some people can sound incredibly different on the phone to how they are in real life. And when they're having a Skype date with you, you can tell if it's a lot of the time what they're like. You can tell a bit more about them, whether they're paying attention to you, whether they like what you say, whether they're looking around at you, whether they're staring at you and gawking at you. You can tell. Fourth thing. Okay, you have to be aware 
that on some of these asexual dating sites, like any dating site, I'm guessing, there are spammers sometimes. The asexualytic.com, to be fair to them, has been very, very good on this. When I first joined the site, I was getting foreign people messaging me saying, normally women, saying, hi, something like I'm Shola and I've got something important to tell you. Please email me on my email, which that's, that's just spam. It's ridiculous. Don't even go there. If you get a message like that, just block them if you can, delete them, or just don't have anything to do with them. Don't. You know, and, you know, going back to the safety aspect, always, always, if you meet them after the dating site experience, if you want to meet them in person, meet them in a lit up public area. Do not meet them privately for the first time. It's not a good idea because even though they may be asexual, they might be different in what they like and dislike in their asexuality. And you do get some people that are sexual on these sites. Yes. Okay. I, 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 it's not nice to admit, but you do. So watch out for them. Watch out what they say to you. There's one guy on asexualistic.com, right? I've still connected to him as a friend because I think it's important in case anyone comes to me or mentions him, right? And he likes women. He likes everything about them apart from the intercourse. So, okay, is he asexual or is he not? Mm -hmm. I can't go around saying to a person... Well, I can actually, I do. I, I, sometimes I say... Sometimes I message people on Facebook and say, I don't think so you are asexual when you've got pictures of naked women on your profile picture and you've got pornographic stuff on there. So yeah, I do say something sometimes to them. But basically, you've got to watch out for it. There are some people that are honest on that site and they say, well, I'm not actually asexual, but I'm looking to be with an asexual. I'm looking for platonic friendship. Be careful of these people, but know that they do exist. And also, demisexuals fall under the asexual spectrum. But demisexuals... If they can form a strong emotional connection to someone, and this could be over one or two years, and they decide they want to be that person because they feel deep for them, yeah, then demisexuals are still sexual and they will want sex with someone after they've got that emotional connection. Before that, just mates. So just like a platonic friendship or relationship more. But later on, when it gets deeper they will want sex you've got to bear that in mind i have had feelings for guys who i thought were asexual romantics and they've turned out to be demisexuals which is no good to me i don't like sex i'm not having it again in my life so and they need that you know um so it's no good but you know these are the things you have to watch out for you know you do have to watch out for these so basically that's my five top tips for dating sites now acebook.net i did not go into with you um i found that more hard to use acebook.net i really have and since i've been doing these youtube videos on this channel more guys have been messaging me on there which is nice um it's really nice i've had more interaction on there i mean when you get a message on an asexual dating site because they're not very frequent you, you, you know, I feel later. I'm like, oh, there's like, especially on asexuality.com, they, they highlight them in blue or red. And it's like, oh, I've got a little message. Oh, it's so exciting. A little red message. You know, <coughs> being a hyper romantic, I just like that. I'm just like that. Oh, dearie me. It's kind of funny, but not at the same time, but it is. So, yeah, um, it's good. And you can, like, with asexuality.com, you can say what country you're looking for the person for the person to be in you can say what ethnicity religion uh, there's lots of drop down menus i find that really good the forums tend to be more active than the private messaging to individuals but all i'm saying is never give up you know i have the disadvantage of mostly being attracted to foreign guys rather than uh rather than british guys and um, there is a lack of foreign asexual guys in the UK that aren't gay. Yes, I look at them. I think he's very good looking aesthetically. And normally he lives in London and he's usually gay. And I can normally see on asexualistic.com which guys are gay. Uh, you know, uh, um, 
a homo romantic asexual. I can normally spot it a mile off now. And I'm like, oh, I bet he's gay. Yep, man looking for a man. So that's, you know, that's just the way it goes. So I'm all lucked out on that front, but I won't give up. But I'm not going to obsess over it. I'm I'm going to think that my life is meant to be single, maybe forever. If not, maybe I will meet my soulmate. If not, my soulmate will be myself and my piggies that you can see in the background. So, top five tips there. Stay safe on online dating. Do enjoy and never give up. Until next time, embrace your quirky, subscribe to this channel, give it the thumbs up, share it with all your friends and everyone online. Let's get talking and celebrating asexuality. Embrace your quirky and each other's. Bye-bye.